nice to have you here. Welcome to Hedna. Thank you very much. You've just finished your Hedna University session on channel management was the, the name of the session, but you covered a lot of different topics in there. Uh, I only came in towards the end of it, and from what I saw already, it was very detailed. Okay. Um, based on the, the, the session, and uh, there was a good audience in there, what would be three key takeaways that you'd want your audience to take with them from your, from your session today? Uh, sure, so we covered a lot. Um, I think the, the overarching things to remember when it comes to not just channel management, but a lot of what we do, um, and it's something I'm trying to remind myself too of, is simplify without sacrificing sophistication. And I think that really holds true with channel management because there's, there's a lot that goes on with channel management, but you really need to make sure that you're keeping it simple. Um, so that's one. Um, you know, I think two is know your audience. And, not, and when I talk about know your audience, it's also not just knowing your, your customers and your, your guests, but knowing, know your vendor partner intimately. And that's what I tried to talk about and highlight the big things about you know, who you're working with in the different channels. And then number three, it's you know, understand uh, the relationships and building the right partnerships. And it's all about partnerships, and then everyone can win. Mm -hmm. There was one point that I did see that you mentioned about the um, hotelier perhaps being a, more aware of their environment, especially around the tech stack. And you showed the spaghetti, spaghetti yes, graph. Yes. And that was a, a perfect example of what the ecosystem can look like in our environment. Um, what, what other areas, from a hotelier's perspective, apart from what ways could they perhaps best become familiar with, with educating themselves and be, becoming aware of, of that more? Yeah, I think, I mean, getting involved. Um, you know, not just because we're at Hedna, but I will pitch Hedna. Like, I did not know a lot of the stuff until I joined this organization. So you have to get involved. And whether it's, you know, you choose Hedna as that organization or HTNG um, or a local, you know, a technology travel startup organization, um, there's a lot that's out there and you've got to get involved. And you also just ask, ask the questions, never stop learning. Yeah. Um, and as long as you're doing that, then you'll figure it out. Yeah. But you, okay. have to, you have to have that natural curiosity and that drive. Good stuff. Final question. Sure. I'm sure this isn't your first head now. Uh, what, what is it that you believe hoteliers, or why should hoteliers and hotel operators or owners attend Hedna? I think that the programming is one of the top when it comes to the, the different programs that are out there. Um, it truly lives by the name, Hotel Electronic Networking Distribution Association. And this industry is all about networking. This is really the only conference that I go to where I truly feel that there's that opportunity to network and talk to people and learn and ask questions and engage. Um, some of the other conferences you go to, you're just like in and out. This one, it's, it really is that social side and educational side. And then there's, you know, that extra, there's always something different about, I feel like, this conference where three years ago we were talking about the Internet of Things, mm -hmm. when really no one was talking about that in the industry quite mm -hmm. yet. Mm -hmm. So they're also thinking outside the box, and they consistently do. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks. Like <that>. <laughs> <laughs>